Okay, now. My name is Suiza and I'm playing the victim and also a medical examiner. Hi, my name is Elias. I play the medical investigator. Go. Hi, I'm Brandon and I'm the one of the investigators that is holding the camera for a first person view. And this is our reenactment of a crime scene investigation. So, what's the situation? Um, 18 year old female, um, dead on arrival, apparently suicide. Hmm, interesting. Let's get to it. Anything interesting happen around the scene? Um, no, there's a few things knocked over on her desk over there, but that's it. There's painkillers in her hand, which we, that's what we're thinking caused the, caused her to die. Um, it seems that she overdosed on those. Let's get the team over here and gather some evidence. Maybe someone in the neighborhood saw her. Alright, I'll send John to, um, check out the, investigate the neighbors and get a background on this girl. And um, also, let's grab up the evidence. First, we think it's a good idea to get those things off of, the, off of her desk over there and make sure we get the pill bottle for um, printing. All right, let's get the body to the lab and do a full autopsy on it. All right, sounds good. Cool, good, thanks. Nice. All right, I finished bagging the evidence over here. Um, how are you doing? Doing fine. Yep, looks like Tylenol, America's best-selling pain, pain killer. Take a few of these and knock somebody out, don't you think? Yeah, I imagine so. Mm. Looks like she downed the whole bottle, though. What's, what you got there, lipstick? Yeah, it's the last of the evidence from her desk. Lipstick, Tylenol. Mm. All right, let's get this, let's get this to the lab. So, we're waiting on the autopsy report. Uh, yep. Uh, so what are we expecting? Like, excessive amounts of acetaminophen in the liver from the painkillers? That's what it seems like. Yeah, that kind of overdose would shut down the liver pretty fast. It would be a pretty painful death. Yeah, plus I got the report from John. He, she says she has immediate family, and they told us that she had a boyfriend. But they had been fighting. Also, neighbors, neighbors report that there has been a lot of commotion from her apartment for the past few weeks now, and some have seen her going out late at night. All right, uh, we should get a background on that boyfriend then, just to check him out. Yeah. Um, here, officers, I got the report. Okay, thank you. It wasn't what you were expecting at all. Oh, really? What's this? Right there. Oh, wow. Um, this says that she died from bromothaline. Isn't that a poison? It is. Oh, wow. Wow, bromothaline. It wasn't painkillers. It was poison. That killed her. We've got a new crisis on our hands. We need, to, we need to get a look at all that evidence from her room as soon as possible. Yeah, most definitely. Are you ready to get on that? Yes, sure. All right, let's go. Can you do a quick examination of this for me? Um, it's the lipstick. I just want to make sure there's no kind of compounds in it that might have affected her death. You checked the you checked the powder and the perfume that was on the desk too, right? Yes, we did. All right, and the tests from those are going to come back soon. Momentarily. All right. Hmm. It seems to be poison on the lipstick. That's weird. So it seems we have some sort of a murder on our hands. Um, somebody poisoned this lipstick and put it on the girl's desk. Alright, I'm going to get this back to the lab again and uh, 
run some tests on this just to make sure there really is poison in here. Um, we need to get that done as soon as possible. And we're running fingerprints on all the other objects, right? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Excuse me. I need you to run analysis on these few objects there from a crime scene we're doing right now. Okay. Um, so if you could get these done as soon as possible, that would be great. We need um, them analyzed for any compounds and any prints. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right, Detective, I got that follow-up report on the evidence. Apparently, the lipstick was laced with a poison. Well, whoever did this apparently put the poison inside the lipstick compound and mixed it up with some kind of a rat poison. Um, they also ran fingerprint testing on all the evidence, and we got a positive print on the painkiller bottle, which didn't match the girl. Um, we ran it through APHIS over the weekend, and... And the it ma it had a ma positive match with her boyfriend. So, how it happened was. Why are you always going out late? It's not of your business. It is my business. It's not. It is too. Who are you going out with? Why do I have to tell you? Cause you need to. Why? Because. Because what? Who are you going out with? I'm not gonna tell you. Are you going you. out with your friends? No, I'm going with a guy! I'm so sick of this. Hello, is this the police? 